parking space. So basically, this is a very quick plan just to illustrate this point. Now, you have a clear cut proportion of the kind of volume that you are going to be playing with. So once again, to recapitulate, it's draw plan to scale, draw the lines up. So you think that the square is looking too big, let's fragment the square. So you now start fragmenting this square into a series of squares. Again, draw a little bit of perspective, draw this, put in an opening, put shadows and you're getting a clear picture of what the kind of shape and the kind of volumes that you're playing with and the kind of fragmentation that you're doing. So what did we do here? We started with a simple floor plan, just seeing how the spaces work. There's a kitchen and a bedroom with a toilet and a store at the bottom, with a dining room and a living space and a staircase and a parking space in the front of the building. And then you draw the volume as it would be. And then you decide that, okay, do you want to keep this as a single volume and create some kind of differentiation in one portion and another portion. Do you want to split this up into two parts in a series of curved volumes? Do you want to split this up in a series of cuboid volumes where one sits on top of the other or one hangs out on top of the other? These are all just ideations. The point here is that sketching is really very simple, but you need to draw on scale. Don't be scared or uh, think that it is demeaning to use a scale. Take a scale, 1 to 200, draw the outline, draw the plan portion, that way you will get everything in proportion. And when you keep drawing these things with scales to proportion, finally, you will start being able to sketch straight away.
For example, recently I was sitting outside a meeting and there was a little bit of free time and I was only carrying the sandals with me and I only had a ball pen in my hand. And that is what was done. So it's a plan. It's the section showing how it steps down, plus a view from the side and a view from the frontal side showing how the building looks. So eventually you will be able to sketch without scale in the correct proportion, but only after you have spent a lot of time doing these kind of simple sketches, which are drawn to scale after measuring. It is really important to measure and get the proportions right.